Okay, hello everyone and welcome to Ugreen's Facebook Live channel. I'm your host Ian and today I'm joined by Dr. X. Dr. X, can you introduce yourself to everybody? Sure. Hello everyone, this is uh, Xiu Cheng Huang. You can call me Dr. X if you want. I'm from Navitas Semiconductor. We work closely with Ugreen and we help design Ugreen's wall chargers. So, Dr. X, what will we be doing today? So today we are going to take apart a 100 watt gain fast charger. Right. This is the most recent peripheral that Ugreen has launched on our international market. Um, what we're going to do today is we're going to take it apart so everybody can look and see how it works on the inside. Um, what's special about GAN chargers compared to a silicon based charger? Well, compared to the traditional silicon chips, the third generation gallium nitride, or called GAN, operates up to 100 times faster, more efficient. So GAN fast charger is smaller, lighter, and delivers up to three times fast charging than the old silicon chargers. Right, so it charges faster, but it's also smaller and more efficient. Right. So, as far as like investigating the charger itself, where should we start? Uh, we should start from the outside. The outer shear has the detailed spec information of the charger. Right. So if you buy a charger, generally you'll be able to find the specs for that charger on the outside. And so if I look here, I can see that the two ports at the top, the USB-C ports, can deliver 100 watts of charging power but the USB-C and the USB-A at the bottom can each deliver about 22.5 watts of charging power. Right. All these th uh, four ports support the vast majority of the fast charging devices such as the Apple, Samsung, Xiaomi, Huawei, uh, which have all the uh, fast charging protocols. Right. So no matter what you want to fast charge, you'll be able to fast charge it with this device. So, we're gonna have three raffles today for you. The first raffle, we're gonna start uh, now. So, we're gonna be raffling off uh, these little buddies that were graciously donated by the uh, Navitas team. So the first question for the raffle is, what is the maximum power output of a GAN charger that we are giving away tonight? Is it A, 65 watts, B, 20 watts, C, 100 watts, or D, 9,100 watts? So who can let us know what the maximum charging capacity of this device is? So uh, what do you find yourself charging a lot, Dr. X? Usually I use the uh, GAN fast charger to charge my cell phone or laptop. I know that as an Apple user, I'm always running out of battery. Yeah. They uh, prioritize other things and they just have like uh, 3,000 milliamp hours of battery. So I end up charging my phone a lot. They're pretty small in batteries. Right. So let's see what we've got as far as... Um, let's see what we've got as far as the winner here. Um, looks like Sandin Manlapas. Sandin Manlapas, you have won one of our little mascots back there. Please uh, contact us via Facebook Messenger to claim your prize. Don't worry, there's two more raffles tonight, so stay tuned. But first, let's get back to understanding the charger itself. Sure. So, we're going to take it apart and show everybody what's inside. And here, we can see that there's a lot of gray stuff inside there. Dr. X, what's all that gray stuff? Uh, this is called the thermal conductive adhesive. Uh, this adhesive uh, can spread in the heat inside the case. Uh, even the GAN is... Uh, uh, more uh, efficient than the silicon chips with up to 40% energy saving but there is still a small amount of power which means heat so you need to spread evenly inside the case and more importantly the uh, 
adhesive can help make sure all the components inside the case don't move around when the charger is dropped. Right. So it helps dissipate the heat and it helps keep the components secure inside. Correct. So this is important to the charger, but we can't see what's inside of the charger when we've got all that gray stuff, right? So in this one, we've cleaned out the thermal adhesive. So you guys will be able to see all the different parts of the uh, charger. So here, it looks like we have some batteries here, no, Dr. X. These no, are not batteries. no? <laughs> yeah, these are high voltage electrolytic capacitors. So they are responsible to control the incoming voltage and uh, store the energy uh, when the mains electricity goes up and down. I see. So a battery is for storing energy for a long time, but these uh, capacitors are for storing energy for a short time. Right. They, they're only there for a little bit of time and then it moves on to a different part. Correct. So, <clears throat> let's see. On the other side here, we have what looks like a circuit board, but this circuit board isn't green. Uh, I thought all circuit boards were green. You are right, most of the boards are green, but the color doesn't uh, really affect the board's performance. And actually the blue color is a pretty cool color, right? Yeah, I, I like blue. Um, let's see. What can you tell me about all of this stuff here? Honestly speaking, we don't have much time to discuss all of them, but we can talk some of them. All right, not enough time to teach you everything you need to know about chargers, but we'll hit the most important parts. What about this little black, black uh, square here? Okay, you go to the key components. So this is the uh, Navitas GameFast power ICs. This is the real power train and the, the muscle in the system. It channels all the power going to your devices. Um, it works separately with the system chip, uh, which communicates with your device and uh, figure out exactly how much power your device is needed for the fast charging. Okay, so the IC helps your charger communicate with your phone to kind of negotiate how much energy should be going into your phone or your, whatever you're charging. You are right. Right. Interesting. And what about all of these metal bits? You can see there's a bunch of metal all around the uh, circuit board here. Yeah, these are solderings. Uh, it helps to attach all the components to the board. Great. So, let's see. Um, I think, oh, we have one more thing to talk about. There's this little part at the very top, right? Oh, this is a transistor, so it helps to regulate the output voltage and uh, keep communicating with the control IC. Right, so this helps regulate the voltage and the Navitas GAN IC controls what goes into the uh, phone itself. Right. Okay, so we have our second, um, we have our second raffle of the day. And we're going to be raffling off another one of the little mascots we have here. The question for this raffle is going to be, what is the name of the company that makes the GAN chip for Ugreen's chargers? A. Navitas, B. Norton, C. Doritos, or D. Norad? So, what is the name of the company? I think, Dr. X, you know the name of the company. Of course. So we have these mascots back here. What can you tell me about the mascots? Okay, they are very cute. And uh, actually, they are twins. One is the Gailin, another one is the Nitride. From the appearance, you can see they have a big, big head, right? Means they are very powerful and uh, very energetic. And uh, actually, they can convert. They have the special magic to convert the AC mains, AC voltage to the, uh, the device desired voltage like 9 volt, 5 volt for the iPhone or 20 volt for your laptop. Wow, so they are like uh, super powerful chargers just like the Navitas chip right. helps the Ugreen GAN charger be. Right. Okay, we're going to take a screenshot now. Uh. 
And it looks like Satv, Satvin SG. Satvin SG. If you see your name at the top there, you just won uh, one of these mascots. Please contact us directly to claim your prize via Facebook Messenger. And if you want to see the chip up close, this is how small it is. It's very small, but it's very powerful. This is essentially what governs how much energy can go into your phone. There we go. So, let's see. Next, we're going to be looking at the opposite side. So, here's a circuit board where the GAN chip is. We're going to flip around and we're going to look on the back end here. So, what's this giant yellow thing here? It's huge. This is a transformer. A transformer. Like uh, Optimus Prime, is it going to fight the Decepticons? Not exactly. So this is where the power going step into your uh, gain fast charger. Uh, you know the wall outlet is very powerful, high voltage. So you need to load down the voltage to a suitable value uh, will enter into your device. Sure. So this is the first step for the power mm -hmm. to go into your device. But before it can go in, it needs to be lowered down to the right amount of power. Mm -hmm. So here we have some more little yellow uh, squares here. Are these also uh, transformers? No, these are X capacitors. So X capacitor uh, can help attenuate the EMI noises and uh, protect against the uh, power surges. Okay. So, the uh, transformer here lowers the power, and the X capacitors can help protect against uh, surges in Correct. power. That's great. So, um, let's see. We've got uh, w one more. Oh, thanks for coming on mm -hmm. and talking about our uh, Ugreen 100 watt charger. It's been very informative. Um, yeah, it's my pleasure. Oh, and one more thing. So the new GANFAST power ICs has 10 times lower CO2 footprint compared to the old silicon chips. It is very critical to our planet. Right. So the GAN charging and these chargers will be more efficient and so you'll use less CO2 when you charge with them. And I think we can all agree that it's important to lower our carbon footprint. That's right. But we have one more raffle, and this is the big raffle of the night. So we've shown you how the, uh, the charger works, but now you have a chance to win a charger. So the question for this raffle is, how many devices can be charged at the same time with the Ugreen GAN charger. One, A1, B2, C3, or D4. So how many devices can you charge? Uh, Dr. X, what's like the heavy duty charging that you usually do when you're at home? Okay, so personally I have a MacBook Pro. So when I'm doing the simulation or playing a video game, Usually it absorbs like uh, 90 watt. 90 watts. Yeah. So this is 100 watts, so it's great for the MacBook Pro. I don't have a MacBook, but I do play Nintendo Switch. Okay. Sometimes at work during lunch. And if you charge your Nintendo Switch using the top port, you could also charge a second one with your phone or something in the second port, and you can still use the maximum 100 watts available. So I'm going to take a screenshot. Uh, looks like uh, Hope Zhang. Uh, oh no, it's not Hope Zhang uh, because I know who Hope Zhang is. It's going to be Long Wen Yuan. So Hope Zhang is disqualified for being someone I know. Long Wen Yuan you have won. So please contact us via Facebook Messenger to claim your prize. You have won a new GAN charger. Um, 
to wrap things up, we're going to, I want you all to know that you have actually two more chances to win a Ugreen Gun charger. Right now on the Ugreen community, we have two events going on. So you have two chances to win. All you have to do is sign up to the Ugreen community and there should be a link being shared in the uh, text below. Um, join us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. You can stay up to date on all of our new products and learn about all of our big giveaways. Thanks for everybody for joining us tonight and thank you uh, Dr. X You're and welcome. Navitas for joining us as well. You're welcome. Thank you everybody. I hope you had a good night. Bye-bye. Goodbye. <laughs>